Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Character Online exclusive, which is available right now. So do go and grab it if you enjoy this review and you like the look of this set. Um, so yeah, it is the Ruins of Scaro collector's figure set from the fourth Doctor era. This set features two Mavellans um, and one Dalek with bombs. Um, I do remember this. I think it was called the Suicide Bomber Dalek back in the day, but obviously... That's quite a harsh name uh, for them. Uh, so they've renamed it Dalek with Bombs. But yeah, so this is it. So it comes in a window style packaging, uh, just like we've come to expect, really. Um, like the Character Online exclusive packagings have, it does have the plastic window, uh, whereas on the B&M they are plasticless um, windows. And yeah that is the front of the box and then the side is the same as always and then i have ripped it actually by accident when i opened it the first time to have a look but yeah so you can pause this and have a read if you'd like it's just got a brief description of the episode um and yeah and then i do like the little inclusion of this picture here which is an image that's done by a fan of the figures. Um, I don't know if it actually says on there who did the picture, but I think it's really nice. It's a cool little touch to do, and I think it's something that they certainly should think about doing in future um, because it, it's quite nice to see the figures uh, posed in action um, in like a diorama setting. Um, but yeah, so that's the back of the box. I won't go into it much more. So let's open the box and get the insert out on the inside. So here we have it and you can see that there is a diorama backdrop in the background. So if I take the figures out, oh, maybe he's gonna go. so there we go. So you've got the Mavellans base. Do you know, I haven't watched um, Destiny of the Daleks for such a long time but yeah you've got the Mavellan sort of spaceship base uh, you've got Davros in the background um, you've got their guns all in there and I like the little easter egg they have and I'm going to lift my phone up to show you there's paw prints all over the uh, not paw prints, footprints all over the floor um, which I think is a really really nice touch so yeah, a nice little addition to this set. But anyway, let's take a look at what you've all come here to look at, which is the figures. So here we have the two Movellan figures, and uh, one of them is Agella, as played by the model Suzanne Danielle. Um, and the other one is an unnamed Movellan from the episode. Um, but it is one that is in the story, it's just it wasn't named. Um, and yeah, I, I'm quite surprised at how much I really love these figures. Um, it's not a story that's ever particularly bothered me. Um, I did watch it once ages ago, but um, yeah, it didn't capture me very much. Um, but these are really, really nice and I can't explain it, but it feels like a set that could have come from Forbidden Planet in like 2010. And I don't know why, I think it's just because it, the new parts on it are quite, there's a lot of new parts and the parts that are reuses are so subtle that you would never know unless they're pointed out. Um, so it almost feels like a whole new figure, which is kind of crazy because uh, that doesn't happen very often these days. Um but yeah, they're really, really, really nice. The white on them is really vibrant and clean. Um, the little shoulder sort of tube things are a really vibrant green. It's almost like a highlighter green. Um, it's just so, so, so bright. Um, and 
from a distance it looked like it looks like it could be actual liquid in there it's that bright um and then you've got the guns which are lovely the hands um you can fit the guns into their hands really really easily um and yeah really really nice one thing i do love uh, which you can tell better in this lighting than you can on the pictures that have been shared of the set is that the wigs are in a dark purpley silver plastic um, but the little beads at the end are all in a lighter silver and I just think it's a really nice touch because they easily could have cheaped out and just done the silver uh, the, the purpley silver wig like it's subtle enough that you wouldn't notice it but when you have it in hand and you see it you can see the contrast between the two and it looks really really nice absolutely fantastic um one little thing to note is that the boots don't have articulation on them it is one solid piece for the boots and the calf uh which makes sense to me i think it would be a bit excessive to have the boots articulated as well because it already has so much articulation on it um yeah i don't really know what else to say i'm a bit stunned really because i really do love it um so i'll just for example i will show you that you can clip the gun onto the belt just drunk um <laughs> but let me clip that back in sorry there we go so there's one on and it's just a little extra nice little bonus to have. I mean, you don't really need to do it because it's quite nice just having the gun in their hands. But, oh, blimey, they're all doing it. Right, <laughs> I will leave that then. But, yeah, so really lovely. I'm going to lift my phone up to show you this because one interesting thing to note, the head scan is absolutely fantastic. And it uses the flesh-coloured plastic that the Sixth Doctor and the Fugitive Doctor use. And it looks really, really nice. And you can see where the green stands out on there, how vibrant it is. So it's really, really a lovely pair of figures. Um, now, obviously I mentioned that it does use, have its reuse parts, uh, but it's subtle. And I will bring in the figure that it reuses now just like these are having a slight mission to stand up they're actually they are easy to stand it's just that where i've got this uh light box at the moment it's not completely straight so that's why they're all wobbling over but way i've got a stand in so oh, <laughs> now they're all going typical uh anyway the reuse on the Movellan figures is Clara. And it's not really easy to tell because it's so, so, so subtle. And the part that they've used, you would never know, but. Blimey. <laughs> the legs on the Clara, I'm not gonna go up the skirt like that because that would be not appropriate, but <laughs> um, the, Clara legs and the Clara crotch piece are reused on the Mavellan. So it does have a like a plastic piece that sits over. So this whole bit, the skirt bit at the front and the bit at the sides is a PVC piece, uh, piece that sits over the top of the original crotch piece from Clara. Um, and then it looks to me that the arms, the torso, um, and the legs are new PVC pieces to replace the existing parts that are on the Clara. So yeah, mega subtle, but really, really nice. And you'd never know at all. Um, one little final thing to add on this is I really like how the tights on the Mavellan have been given a pearlescent effect. Um, it's, it's subtle, it's white still, but it's got like a shimmer to it that just makes it look quite pearlescent. And I think that's a really nice additional feature. But yeah, so that is the Mavellans. So next, let's take a look at the Dalek. 
So here is the Bomber Dalek, and the, I, it's nice. It's not my favourite thing from the set because it is really just a Dalek again with bombs on it. Um, but it is quite nice. Um, it apparently is a new sculpt uh, for the uh, slats uh, that have additional placement parts for the bombs because I think and I'll bring it in in a minute, but the bombs are in a different position to the way they were on the previous version that we got a very, very long time ago. But um, I'm not going to touch on too much of the details of it because it is just mostly the same as what we've had before. But I will bring in the B&M Destiny Daleks. So they're all fairly beat up I'd say this one is the least beaten up out of the three of them um, it does have some weathering on the base but the others have weathering all over the hemispheres as well um, and this one doesn't uh, the eye stalk is really really nice super uh, clean and sharp um, and I like that they all just have a slight little bit of difference to each of them I think it's a nice additional touch um, that's definitely worth noting. Um, so there we go. That is a comparison with the B&M ones. And then this one is not in the best of shape because when I bought it years and years and years ago, it had scratches and permanent marker all over the helmet of it, the head. So I have repainted the head myself. Um, but... This is a comparison of the original Bomber Dalek with the new one. And I think it's a much nicer colour. Um, and I like that the bombs are more scattered all over the place rather than just exactly the same as they were before. I think it just creates a nice variant. And it also means that you can, since they're all so beaten up and battered in the actual episode, you can have them all still in your collection even though there's a colour difference um because that could just be variants in the way that they are all battered up um but yeah i think it looks really really nice um certainly one of the nicest daleks that we've had from the, the classic range um classic era so yeah i really really like it i can't really fault it and i don't have too much to say because it is sort of just the standard dalek that we've come to know so thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment for more. I want to hear what you'd like me to do next. Um, I've got lots of plans to do videos of custom figure showcases from the new season because I've got customs that I've already made from just looking at the trailers and the filming pictures and I've got stuff in the works that I'm going to finalise once we actually see them on screen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be sharing lots of those soon. Um, Hopefully we'll have some new figures for the new era as well. So I'll make sure to review those as soon as we do hear more about any of it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment for more, as I've just said. And I will see you all soon.